everybody how's it going hope it's going well let me tell you something i see what you guys are talking about in the comment section and i love it all right and i love uh, 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 it you guys are talking about food and we love food right some people said i'm reading some of the answers and i gotta say i'm kind of surprised by some of them for example some of you guys are saying that you like fruit fruit as your favorite food let me fr fr there's so many good food out there fruit that's good at least you're healthy all right um, hey to everybody. Hey, R. Tusky. Hey, Halonic. Hey, KC63. Hey, all of you guys. How's it going today? Hey, Livia, Madass. Hello. We have someone who, ooh, Hacked Off loves lobster. Someone else likes steak. Uh, oh, a lot of people are saying lobster. What's up with the lobster? Is it it's a lobster day? Huh? Do you guys like lobster, macaroni, and cheese? I don't know. I, honestly, personally, I prefer normal lobster. And I get, no, like, not normal lobster, normal cheese and i guess i should probably tell you my favorite food which is fried rice every day all day forever okay there's so many ways to make it and uh ah uh, i just love it so anyways you guys it's tuesday today and we still have a lot more days throughout the week so today's the second game we're having this week i hope you guys are ready to have a good old time because we will have fun of course as usual but before we get started let me read a few more of these somebody said bacon someone else says sushi spicy tuna rolls all day someone else says meat 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 Brussels sprouts, egg fried rice. What else? Banana pudding. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Someone says sauerkraut pizza. I've never heard of sauerkraut pizza before. My question is, is it good? Is it not? I'd be a little um, skeptical about it, but I think I would try it just for all of you out there. I would try it just for all of you. Hope you guys are ready to have a good time. You know why? Because it is cow appreciation day. So thanks for the dairy and the food. And thanks for not trampling through this Tuesday edition of Swag Looks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. So listen up, you guys. We are here to get your brains moving as you play Grand Prize. You see what I did there? Grand Prize. Look at that, you guys. That is $1,000. And if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about any and everything, you'll win your share of it, okay? So in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every single question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. So if you're, elim if you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you're going to need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. But it's super simple, okay? All you got to do is click a button that appears at the end of the game. Boom. Now, if you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically because that's just like a little extra perk. Of being a winner all right now listen we have over 29,000 of you guys here so I think it's time the comments are being heard off your screen right now all right because it's time for today's game to begin so you guys ready I'm ready when you are <gasps> deep breath let's go here's question number one what is the capital of the United States New York New York Washington DC or Roanoke Virginia capital of the United States now our capital has resided in a few different cities for different reasons but the bargaining of Jefferson and Madison helped it find its current home Washington DC Washington DC is the correct answer 28,131 of you guys got that one right and you knew that Washington DC was the capital of the United States the US of a you guys that's 28,000 of you all right I'm not mad Yes, 1.8% of you guys got it wrong, but guess what? It looks like you all rejoined, so I'm okay with it. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number two. According to the famous motivational saying, you're supposed to sing like no one is what? Listening, recording you secretly, or sleeping? Sing like no one is what? Well, dance like nobody's watching love like you're like you've never been hurt live like it's heaven on earth and sing like no one is listening Twenty-eight thousand eighty-seven of you guys got that one right and you knew that listening is the correct answer <laughs> when i read that last line i felt like uh, i'm not gonna lie i felt like i was um reading a group of bad pictures you know when people have the pictures in the house dance like no one's watching a house is a home you know like that i felt like that's what i was doing but don't forget, you guys, sing like no one is listening if you're going to sing. Moving on to the next question with one bonus SB. Here's question number three. What is the name of the captain of the Pequod in Moby Dick? Alan, Aaron, or Ahab? Uh, 
I hope I pronounced that right. I think I forgot. It's okay, though. Ishmael is our guide through the tale of the tortured sea captain who's obsessed over the great white whale. And Ahab is his name. Ahab is his name, you guys. 26,649 of you guys got it right. And you knew that it was Ahab. And it's also Pequod. I knew it. You guys, I looked it up before I came on here. And guess what? I still forgot. But Pequod. Pequod is the answer. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you guys who got that one right. You guys are killing it. Let's stand at 90th percentile and move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question four. What is the name for the process of making solid three-dimensional objects from a digital file? Troning, 3D printing, or scanning? Troning, 3D printing, or scanning? Star Trek has a replicator that can make almost anything. And it feels like we've come one step closer with the widespread use of what? I think you guys know this one. 3D printing. Come on now. You better recognize. You better show them what you guys can do. 27,166 of you got the one right. And you knew that it was 3D printing. Guess what? 98% of you knew that answer. That's what I'm talking about. Now, 587 of you got it wrong. But guess what? 620 have rejoined so far. So. You guys are doing right. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question five. According to the Social Security Administration, what was the most popular name for boys in 2021? Noah, Oliver, or Liam? Most popular name for boys in 2021. 21? All right, so it's always fascinating to look at baby name trends over time. It really is. While Olivia topped the list of girls' names in the U.S., Hey, Liam was the most popular among boys. 20,286 of you got that one right, and you knew that Liam is the most popular name right now. Hey, you guys think that Liam from One Direction had anything to do with it? Hmm, I wonder. Congrats to all you guys who got that one right. You guys are doing a good job. To the ones who didn't, rejoin, and let's keep it moving. We're halfway there. Moving on to the next question, question six, worth one bonus SB. Which of the following is not an event in the decathlon? Shot put, long jump, or Rubik's Cube? Which of the following is not an event? So the decathlon is the Olympic event that crowns the greatest living athlete because of the variety of physical events you have to win. Now, hey, some may say this is unfortunate, but guess what? Rubik's Cube is not among those events. Rubik's Cube, 24,942 of you got the one right. And you knew that the Rubik's Cube was the correct answer. You guys are like, I've seen many Olympics, and I know Rubik's Cube is not a part of it. All right. Good job. We're moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number seven. Which of these Jennifers was married to Ben Affleck? Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Gardner, or Jennifer Aniston? Which one was married to Ben Affleck? Surprise, surprise, you guys. Ben's now engaged to another Jennifer, Lopez. But after they broke up in the early 2000s, he actually married Jennifer Gardner, you guys. Jennifer Gardner is the correct answer. 21,537 of you got that one right, and you knew that it was Jennifer Gardner. That's 86% of you. Hey, I mean, I need us to say I think we can... I think we can assume that he may have a thing for Jennifer's, right? I don't know. Or maybe it's a coincidence. Who knows? All right, let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here we go. Here's question number eight. Where was Candy Corn born? Boston, New York, or Philadelphia? Where was Candy Corn born? Interesting question, huh? All right, so love it or hate it, you guys. Candy Corn is part of autumn, of an autumn tradition, and it was invented in a city that people also love or hate, which, hey, it happens, huh? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Philadelphia, 17,703 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that Philadelphia was the correct answer. Boom, that's 78% of you guys. So listen, listen, you guys weren't as confident, all right? The second most, uh, po most popular answer was Boston. You guys thought in Boston they did it, but no, it was in Philly. All right, moving on to the next question. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Question number nine worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Mandy Moore starred on what TV show? American Gods, This Is Us, or The Rookie? Mandy Moore starred on what TV show? 
All I'll say is it's a good show. So Mandy Moore successfully transitioned from teen, teen pop idol to film and television star. And she tugged on our heartstrings. She really did. For six seasons on NBC's This Is Us, you guys. Oh, you guys came back with this one. 18,961 of you guys have made it this far. And you're ready for our final question. Pew, pew, pew. Congratulations. All right, you guys. So immerse yourself in an opportunity to be on a desert island together with the heroes of the family island game and try yourself in different roles. Farmer, cook, explorer, trader, and many others. Install the game on your iOS or Android device and earn 50 SB. Complete level 24 within seven days to receive 4,000 SB. Now, you have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So make sure to check it out after the game. Listen, you guys obviously love playing games. Look, you're here. So make sure to check it out. All right. All right. So we're at our final question. Question number 10. Let's breathe in real quick. One, two, three, deep breath. Let it out. All right. Question 10 worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Which of these instruments do you primarily play with your mouth? Guitar, harmonica, or piano? Which of these instruments do you primarily play with your mouth? Now, while you can technically rub your mouth across any instrument, the one you're supposed to use to play music is the harmonica, you guys. I think you knew that one. Literally, 19,072 of you guys, that's 99.7% .7 of you guys got that one right. You knew that answer, and you're splitting a grand prize. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Congratulations to all of you guys who are splitting a grand prize today. That right there is what winners looks like. We have Chaos Ballads. We have Swan Kahlo 072. We have Whirly Coda, uh, Loverboy. And last but not least, let's see, Sarah K22. Shout out to all of you guys. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, I think you know what to do with them, right? You do. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to amazing places like Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other absolutely fantastical places. You guys, thank you so much for being here today. That was fun, right? It was fun. And thanks for letting us know your favorite food, too. Thanks for playing and thanks for winning, everybody. We're going to see you tomorrow for another round. This has been Swag Bucks Live, of course. And I'm out of here. So peace, everybody. Have a good day.